Hey guys, this is episode 5 of my video log series, and today we're talking about engineering and tributal force. Uh, what we did for our catapult, we built a catapult out of popsicle sticks. And what it basically was, we pretty much brainstormed for the first part, and then we came up with a group design. And after that, we built our catapult based on that group design, and then we realized we had to take into consideration many of the factors that could have affected our catapult that we didn't think of when we made the group design. So we made a lot of changes, and when it didn't end up working, we had to make a new catapult and it had to be a completely different design because our design wasn't the best solution for the type of catapult we wanted to build, which is a trebuchet. And so we had to take into consideration the amount of tension force that we're putting in our catapult and we did not do that. So our catapult broke and so we had to make a new one. Now, another thing I want to talk to you guys about is centripetal force. Centripetal force has to do with circular motion. Circular motion is caused by a force pulling inwards towards the circle perpendicular to an object going horizontal. Now the reason it goes in a circle is because the object's inertia wants to move in a horizontal straight path. But the perpendicular force is causing it to move at an angle. So the reason it's a circle is the continuous force being put on that object is causing it to continually move in a circle. And one thing about centripetal force is that the force is always pointing inward towards the circle. And the force is always perpendicular, because if it's perpendicular, it'll cause a change in direction, and if it's horizontal with the object, it'll cause a change in velocity, in the magnitude of velocity. So both forces can change velocity, but in different ways. Well, I'll see you guys next time on episode 6. Bye, guys.